Good afternoon everyone. I was sitting indoors thinking I'm fed up being indoors so I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going very far at the moment, just a local a local trip. I went out yesterday and um, turned into a bit of a disaster. Yeah, the weather changed, it was horrible. I went up a little country lane which I thought would be interesting. And it went on for miles and miles and miles and miles. By the time I came out to civilization, I was that fed up, I came back home again. Right, this is the main shopping area of Chatham, just passing through it. Yeah, this bit of road is, is known or named as the Brook, because years ago it literally was the Brook, water tri <laughs> trickling along here. It eventually got covered up and a road built over it. Just a little bit of local history. Just entering Dock Road, which naturally enough used to lead to the docks, Chatham Dockyard. Just coming up for the, the old main gate into the dockyard. Part our way through a bit of traffic and road islands and all the people in the left hand lane are turning off to go through the, the Medway Tunnel. No, no, I don't want that. Some of you may recognise where we are which is the the shopping centre or trading estate. Just fancied a walk around having a look at some boats. A bit drafty in there. Yeah, that's better. Well, this is the old dockyard area, which has now been turned into a shopping centre and a yachting marina, or boating marina. And just come out for one of the old docks themselves, or basins, I think there were about five of these, where all the repairs used to be done, the boats hauled in, And what that building was originally, but we're going to have a have a look at the plans over here. Uh, according to this, it was machine shop number number eight. Doing a lot at the moment. Let's go down here to the boats. Those tall towers are meant to represent 
the sails of a ship. Never could quite see it myself. No doubt there's a few million quid sitting there. take a walk down to the vessel's board on the far end there. Click the little tug, I'm oh, no expert. It's better down here, obviously, when the sun's out. A southeastern tug, something. Oh, neatly kept. Nice. Annoying, isn't it? Okay, I've plenty of room to walk behind me. We chose to walk right in front of the camera. Let's go around through the footpath, under the road, on a dark a dark day is quite ominous going under this bridge. All we've got is dark shadows and dark water. Strange, I get a bit nervous you know, walking around here when it's when the light is not so good. Go up to the roadway. Get a sort of an aerial view of the of the yachts and the boats. Hey, it's even breezier up here. See those two sails, buildings, quite clearly from here. Oh, that's annoying. We can't cross to the other side, there's railings in the way. They're stupid. Looks like I have to go back down and under the bridge again.
Now, just getting back to the shopping center, I spotted this old barrel. And over here, an old trolley for holding the barrels around. Yeah, interesting. These are obviously old grinders that came out of the dockyard. Big belt driven old gadgets. Coming back more to the shopping area now. Have a quick walk around the open air part. Then that'll be it. Yeah, we're just coming up for the gap between the buildings that opens up into the, the shopping area. I'm not going to stop here too long. I want to run further down. Crane lifting a boat out there. Yeah, tall crane in the distance it was one of the original dockyard cranes. I'll pick it apart and I'll put it in, not taking it out. That's as bad as far as I'm going to walk at the moment. I'm going to turn around, turn the camera off, and then go back to the bike. Oh. That's that little trip over with. head off back home. This part of Dock Road, I think the old dockyard work was called the Kyber Pass. May be wrong. Yeah, now I think we're going to run into traffic. The statue on the horse, or the figure on the horse, the Lord Kitchener. Oh. <laughs> so busy watching Lord Kitchener, I didn't realise the lights had changed. 